I especially thank Riverside City College and their camera club for allowing us to help hold this event here. Uh, a couple of sponsors, we have Image One Camera and Video here in Riverside. That is our, our main sponsor. Uh, of course, I want to thank Lance. He'll be your, your instructor tonight. The two people hiding in the back. <laughs> one of them is Stacy Foster, and the other one is Peter Barr. So if you guys have any questions of us, anybody in the black shirts that you see walking around, please grab one of us, and we'll be more than happy to talk to you. There's a lot of exciting things. I just got back from South Korea, going to Japan a couple months, and going to Germany. There's a lot of cool things happening in the next year or two. You guys are in the right directions if you're learning about photography, cinematography, and videography. And we're very glad to have Canon here to sponsor and help us with this. So we do have more. The mirror is locked up so the uh, light goes directly to the sensor so you can't get the sort of a revelation, something I haven't really done before. Uh, and they really are really great at shooting video. So this is our entry level class on how to shoot video with uh, EOS HD SLRs. Can we break in? That's going you guys. Trying to correct that in software is going to be a gigantic pain in the butt trying to do that. And you get the uh, change of colors in ways you don't really, you don't really like. Probably the biggest advantage that we've had over the last uh, number of years for shooting video is autofocus. Those of us who grew, those of us who grew up shooting uh, autofocus EOS cameras uh, way back from you know the 650 and the, and the Rebels and all those, we are so used to autofocus, we are so spoiled by auto that's fine. Um, but I almost, I almost always have the stabilizer turned on, especially if I'm hand holding, uh, hand holding the camera. You know, you often want to be on some kind of support like a monopod or a tripod. Uh, but if you are hand holding, uh, always use the image stabilization. You have four stops of IS in most of the lenses, and it makes life a lot easier. Uh, for trying to shoot video, you'll get a much smoother, nicer video uh, that way. This will kind of give you an idea of what different types of uh, focal lengths will give you, uh, how close up they get. And as you get longer in your telephotos, you'll notice the background just keeps getting blurrier. Your wide-angle lenses have inherently more uh, depth of field, and your telephotos have inherently less depth of field. So as they basically just change lenses, then you're going to see the background keep getting a little bit blurrier every time they do that. Talk a little bit about audio. Well, that looks kind of a half. So adding audio, good audio to your subject is going to make a huge difference in terms of how video is received. Now all the, cam all the EOS cameras have built-in microphones. And they are 5D to the side of the car with a couple of suction cups. So it's actually called a gecko too. I'm not going to get quite ready to do that with my 5D R4. Um, well, this class went a little quicker than I thought it was going to, so we'll have lots of time for questions. Uh, we turn the lights out and put anything else in the camera. So having enough power is going to be a, uh, a really big deal when you're trying to shoot. 
The other thing I've discovered is however, many, however much memory you think you need, you bring three times as much memory. Because this is You're not going to get out of here without giving away some real close stuff in the middle. So I've actually got some stuff in the back. Uh, you guys can get it. And it stops about 12 or 13 minutes depending on what you're shooting. That's why it stops. Uh, that's just by the time of the camera. The newer camera is 5.3, 5.3.